Peace and blessings, beautiful people. My name is Abril, your resident herbalist, and welcome back to my channel, Beauty Herbs and Tea, where we bring the beauty and the fun to herbs and holistic health. So if you've watched a few of my last videos, <laughs> you all know that I am on location and I paid for the studio. So I'm like, you know, I might as well film a few videos. <laughs> so in this video, I thought that I would answer another one of the popular questions that I get from a lot of people. This question I get a lot of times in my DMs, people ask me, Abriel, how did you learn herbalism? What methods did you use to learn herbalism? And so that is what I'm going to teach you in this video. I am going to teach you how I learned herbalism using the self-taught method. I actually developed this method for myself to teach myself herbalism and to learn herbs. Yes, I have been self-taught for 10 years. However, I have been through five herbalism programs, but the self-taught method is how I got started. And this method is actually the method that I recommend to a lot of my mentees when they come to me and they ask me for advice about herbalism. So let's go ahead and get into how to start learning herbalism right now using the self-taught method. Okay, so for the self-taught method, you're going to wanna start and buy some books. Yes, you're going to wanna buy about two to three herbalism books to get you started. The reason why you want to buy about two to three herbalism books is because one book is never going to have everything, okay? One book will have some stuff, the second book will have some other stuff, and the third book will have whatever those first and second books don't have. I actually made a video on recommendations for herbalism books, and you can click on the link right up here to check that video out. And that video gives you a great list of books for beginners. So what you're going to do is you're going to start researching these herbs, y'all, okay? So I want you all to research about one to five herbs a day or a week. I don't know what your schedule is. <laughs> so you are going to figure out what your actual schedule is and see how much time can you dedicate into learning these herbs? For me, I would research a few herbs a day. That's how many that I started off researching. So the first step is to get the herbalism books. And the second step is going to be researching these herbs. Now, when you research these herbs, there are a couple of things that you can use to document your research. So that is going to be the second thing that you're going to do. <clears throat> Actually, the third thing, <laughs> you're going to buy an herbalism books, two to three herbalism books. You're going to research these herbs. You're going to document what you are learning about these herbs. And the methods that I suggest to document your information that you're learning is going to be three different methods. Either you are going to create an Excel spreadsheet or you're going to create flashcards, or you're going to use an herb journal to document what you are learning from these herbs. For me, I use the Excel spreadsheet and I also use the herb flashcards to document what I'm learning from these herbs. And the type of things you want to document, you want to write down the Latin name, the common name, the herb energetics, the properties, the actions of these herbs, what the herbs do, <laughs> that's an important one. You also wanna write down any kind of contraindication, um, any kind of articles. In my um, Excel spreadsheet, I included research articles. I do have a clinical herbalist background. So you wanna write down anything that you think will be a benefit on these documents. If you have an herb journal, you can write down your experience with these herbs. And that actually moves me to the next step in learning herbalism at home using the self-taught method. The next step is going to be purchase about five to 10 herbs. Don't go crazy, y'all. <laughs> Don't go crazy. Purchase about five to 10 herbs. And I want you to taste every single one of these herbs and experience it as an herbal simple, meaning one herb on its own, okay? The reason why you wanna do this is because you want to build and create a relationship with the herbs. You need to know how these herbs taste, the actions that the herb have in your body, how it feels when you drink it. You need to know that in order to learn how to blend and to formulate. So. How do you choose these herbs? I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> you don't wanna just go out and buy any herbs willy-nilly. No, you actually wanna choose herbs that you have a personal connection to. Choose herbs that you can use on yourself 
or on your family. Remember, you are your own first client, okay? You cannot tell anybody how to use herbs unless you know how they work on yourself first. So choose an issue that you've been struggling with and buy herbs for that. Remember, do not go crazy, y'all, <laughs> with the herbs. I have been there before. I have bought, you know, 20, 30, 40 herbs when I first started off, y'all, and it was a mistake. I wasted so much money and so many herbs. Literally, five to 10 herbs will get you started. And you can do one herb a day or one herb every few days. So try one herb for about three days and see how your body reacts to it. That is how you're going to get to know these herbs and the properties of these herbs. Refer back to your flashcards, refer back to your Excel spreadsheet and see does it match up? Do you feel the energetics of these herbs? Do you feel what does the herb taste like? Again, document and write all of this down in your journal or on your Excel spreadsheet. Okay, so once you've done all of that, <laughs> once you have bought your books, you bought your herbs, you've created your documentation, now you're going to test these herbs out and try to formulate. Before you do that, you want to go and research formulation methods. Whatever method that you would like to start off with, research that. There are so many ways that you can make herbs. You can use herbs, you all. You can use herbs in tinctures, in syrups, in salves, in tea. <laughs> That's what I do. In capsules and literally any and everything. Whatever you would like to specialize in, whatever you would like to learn, go ahead and research that formulation method. There's actually a lot of videos on YouTube that teach you how to make these herbs using all of those methods. Um, there may not be a lot of tea videos, but it's okay, y'all. <laughs> I got videos coming for y'all <laughs> but there are a lot of videos on how to make tinctures fire cider elderberry syrup youtube will not see you wrong or you can refer back to those books that you have in the beginning a lot of those books actually include preparation methods in those books okay so next once you research the preparation methods that you would like to try now you are going to try them out on yourself first okay <laughs> so i do want to put in disclaimer make sure you are researching any kind of contraindications with these herbs do not take anything before you research and make sure that herb is safe for you to take because not all herbs are created equal and herbs do have contraindications meaning they can harm you okay <laughs> and we don't want you to create a blend that's going to harm you or your family so once you research the preparation method, now it is time for you to start making it yourself and trying it out. So yes, the next step is to start putting your blends together. Start formulating these blends. This is the opportunity for you to test and create sample blends, sample products for yourself and also for your family. And the more you practice it, honestly, the more you get better at it. And that is pretty much my self-taught method on how to start learning herbalism right now. That's the method that I use and the method that, again, most people use to become herbalists. About, I don't have an actual number, but a lot of herbalists <laughs> are self-taught. I actually go into detail in this video right up here on the different types of ways to become an herbalist. Okay, so one more thing I do recommend if you would like to work with clients or honestly, this would just be good for you to learn yourself is to take an anatomy course, okay? Like I mentioned earlier, not all herbs are created equal. This is the one thing that I actually recommend you um, actually go and take a class for. That is because you want to learn how herbs interact with your body. Yes, herbs is medicine. <laughs> it really is. About 50% of medication actually comes from herbs. And you can take some of these herbs and you can die. <laughs> That's extreme, I know. <laughs> but some of these herbs may not be safe for you to take. They can interact with certain medication. They can interact with certain body systems and certain disorders. And you need to know that. You need to know what you are putting in your body. So that is why I recommend and suggest taking a um that is why i recommend and suggest taking a anatomy course to teach you how herbs interact with the body and make sure it's an anatomy course for herbalism <laughs> for herbs. A basic anatomy course may not tell you how these herbs connect with the body system and how you can also use these herbs 
for that particular body system. All right, y'all, that is it. That is my basic self-taught method on how to start learning herbalism right now. I hope you all enjoyed all of the things that I mentioned in this video. Now, if you are like a real, okay, I have searched and searched and searched and I cannot find information on how to formulate tea, guess what, y'all? I got y'all. <laughs> I am actually coming out with a tea blending course. Yes, I'm actually launching three courses in this tea course, I'm going to teach you how to blend and formulate tea. I am going to teach you how to put together your own medicinal tea blend using the method that most herbalists use. Yes, it is an actual formula. It is an actual method behind blending medicinal teas. So if you would like to sign up for that course, go ahead and click the link in the description box to sign up for that course. All right, y'all, that is all I have for y'all today. My camera is about to die. So if you love this video, you know the usual please 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 like this video you all have been doing so amazing and liking these videos and pushing my videos out in the algorithm i deeply appreciate y'all if you found anything in this video useful subscribe subscribe for more information more amazing information i will be back with so many great videos y'all y'all will love it but y'all again that's all i have for you today until next time stay safe stay healthy and stay blessed and i'll see everybody later bye